Before I take your questions, um, I wanted to share a couple of things with you. First of all, here's the um, oh, oh. <laughs> copy of the book uh, that was given to my mom um, from the show. And uh, inside, I wanted to show you, um, of course, well, here's, I'll just pick out one page, um, a scripted version with some of the photos from that were used from the uh, show. And then there's one particular page that I'll share with you that uh, has particular meaning, and that's this page. And as you can see, there's an envelope. And this is the envelope that you may remember when Sergeant Shukart liberated my mom from Camp Mauthausen. He said to her, is there anybody we can notify for you? And my mom said, yes, perhaps my old fiance would like to know I'd survive. So he said, of course I'll write, uh, I'll send the letter. So she wrote a note, put it inside this envelope, and he said, what is the address? And she said, um, well, I know that he lives in Los Angeles on Sunset Boulevard, but, but did not remember the number. How many people have been to LA? <laughs> <laughs> so, you all know, so you all know Sunset Boulevard is our major street. <laughs> Friends from downtown LA all the way to the, to the ocean. Um, so he said, I'll do the best I can. And um, it, it happened uh, to be addressed, hold for Mr. Walter Comer, Los Angeles, USA, California, Sunset Boulevard, question mark. Mm -hmm. And it was, it did arrive to what was my uncle's office at the time, which was 9169 Sunset. Um, it arrived, he put it in another envelope and sent it to where my father was station, stationed, which was at the time Radio Luxembourg. He received it and then went on a search through Europe and found my mother, as you saw via the, the show. So these threads of contact, um, if, if one of those didn't happen, you can only see how they would not have been connected. Can you describe the reaction of children when you do this? Oh, good question. Can I describe the reaction of children when I do this? I went back home from a, uh, a speaking tour, and I was in New Jersey. And I was talking to a seventh grade um, Jewish uh, religious, uh, you know, Hebrew school class. And I come home and I get this email, dear Mrs. C or dear Miss Kohner, I was at your presentation tonight at Temple Shari Tefilo Israel, and I would like to tell you how much I appreciated your presentation. Unfortunately, my father passed away in the September 11th attacks. Mm -hmm and I have had hard times dealing with things in the past. While my experience does not compare to what your mother went through, her story inspires me to stay strong. I think the most important thing it taught me was that life does go on, whether you like it or not, and it's up to each individual person to take advantage of that. Even after her experiences, your mother seized her own life and really lived, and that touched me. You said that what means the most to you when your presentation touches a teen, and I just wanted to impart the effect it had on me. I hope you continue doing this for many years and can make a difference in many more lives. Sincerely, Jake. Wow. Um, so, you know, when you get a letter or an email like that, and I take this with me, and I share it with my audiences, because especially when I do it with kids, because, you know, when, you know, we're way past the kids that are born now, don't know what's, I mean, they have to learn in a book about September 11th. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's very powerful, this letter to me. I did some further research and was able to connect with Julie, and when she came to Sacramento, of course, I was just delighted to be able to see this presentation in person because it's worth everyone seeing this for emotional reasons, for humanitarian reasons, for historical reasons. This needs to be seen. This story needs to be heard. It needs to be told. And Julie has dedicated her life to bringing this story to the world. And I salute her for that and wish her only the best in educating the world about this horrible situation, this horrible part of history 
that needs to be studied and needs to be talked about because we learn from our history. And Julie is an example of us learning from living history because she is a part of that living history of being the descendant of uh, Hannah and Walter Koner. It was interesting to get the story vis-a-vis -vis the This Is Your Life episode, and I think it's an excellent way to teach about these kinds of stories, especially to people who this is brand new. It's, um, it's sort of a, a friendly way to get into a very serious issue. Um, you know, you laugh and cry and everything um, through that episode.